<sighs> All right, guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So this is going to be the video that I talk about Anaheim, definitely. So it's another one of those uh, go ahead and commentate, then do the duels later videos. We've been doing, doing a lot of these on the channel lately. I apologize. Now, we're going to be right back in tomorrow, right back with the commentary. Going to be commentating. You're going to get that live reaction again. But for now, I need to get this over with because this is just, I've just been putting this off. And, uh, uh, so, uh, before we begin with that, I know, uh, of course, I need to keep make sure I'm up with the days still because I can't fall behind with my days, right? So, i going to be telling you guys about my Monday real quick. So, literally, we're at the end of the semester. Literally got this week and then next week is finals. Like, we're done. Like, <gasps> Thank fucking God, like, this semester, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad, I wouldn't say, you know, like, oh my God, kill myself, I hate this semester, but, you know, it was definitely, there were some tiring moments, there were some tedious moments, so, yeah, so, uh, just wrapping it all up, so, um, I literally did, uh, the last two assignments for my education class, like, literally, homework assignment-wise, I am done, like, all my work is turned in, so, uh, just to, you know, show us where we're sitting at, uh, he decided to go ahead and tally up all the points that we have so far and then give us our, sh our uh, data sheet back so we could see what, how far we are. The problem is is that we always add up points and never subtract points. So, of course, he can't add on points that we didn't have yet. So, the assignments that I, the two last assignments I did, I turned them in, but they weren't on the data sheet yet. So, when he handed me the data sheet and I was going down the data sheet, I'm like, oh, I have 48 points. And 48 points means that in the class I have in... F? I'm like, F? What the fuck? How do I have an F? Like, how in the living fuck do I have an F? Like, I've done everything except for these two fucking assignments, and I have an F. You know, but, you know, the quizzes weren't taken into consideration. The final wasn't taken into consideration. Those two assignments weren't taken into consideration. So there was a lot of points missing, because there is no subtracting points. You can only add points. So literally, even if you fail your freaking final and get you get no points, it doesn't subtract from your total grade. It's not like, oh, you failed the final or you dropped from an A to a B. No. You you just you just don't get any points because that's the way he uh, grades his class. So because the midterm wasn't on there and because the quizzes weren't on there and the assignments that I just turned in were on there, I was missing all those points, which dropped me down to a freaking F. And I was like, what the fuck? And then like one of the best students had like a C. Everybody else had like a D or an F. Like no one had a good grade because everybody was still missing assignments that still need to be turned in. So, uh, I turned in my two assignments, and uh, literally the entire class, we literally just watched a video about racism. Like, literally, this lady did, like, did this uh, blue eyes, brown eyes experiment with uh, with children in the third grade, a whole bunch of white kids, and like, oh, now you know how it feels to be discriminated against, ha, 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 and that's what, literally, that, that we watched and talked about, you know, and being one of the black people in the classroom, I'm just like, I don't care. But anyway, um, you know, he graded them real quick. I, I'd say graded my papers because he really didn't like literally uh, I one of the papers I didn't even answer the questions or do the freaking requirements I just literally wrote about whatever I want so then he literally just you, you, you see it he hands your paper back you see him dot down the paper like every single like sentence line so I'm guessing he like reads the sentence puts a dot and then I guess that's how he stays in line and then he just four there you go four there you go so through those eight points you won't believe this is, and like I said remember I had an F through these eight points I boosted up to a C that is how much those points mean something. Eight points from F to C, like that. So, uh, you know, I got C in the class, not including the quizzes, not including the final. So, you know, Daniel, are you happy with C? No, I'm happy with a B. So, extra credit time. You know, I did two of the extra credit assignments out of thirty something. So literally, I can just literally just do all the extra credit, turn in for one point each. So remember how my grade boosted from an F to a C with eight points, eight extra credit assignments. Bam, C to an A. Like it's that fucking simple this class is so easy to curve but oh my god yeah so that's how that class went uh so at least no more homework from that class yay uh we got a quiz on wednesday and that's the final quiz i don't even give a shit i don't even give a shit like literally at this point as we check i'm probably gonna get zero points on my quiz because i'm just doing terrible i think at the first one i got 15 out of 15 second one i got 10 out of 10 second one third i mean yeah third one i got five out of 15 fourth one no i got five out of 20 the fourth one i got 12 out of 20 the fifth one i was absent and this will be the sixth one so literally i don't even have enough points to even get i don't have enough points on the quizzes to even equate to any points on the grade so like i said i don't care he even he was like yeah most of my students get like zero to one points on the quizzes so yeah
Anyway, that's that class. Uh, next class was uh, women's literature. Uh, like I said, we're wrapping it all up. So women's literature, like I said, I procrastinated the fuck out of the essay. You know, BS the shit out of it and and uh, got my essay back. I emailed it to him and I got it back. I got a B minus. I'm chill with that for an essay I barely worked hard on. So um, next class, this class being Monday, literally we did like nothing. Like literally walked into class. He was like, okay, you know, next class you're going to be writing your essay, your blue book in class essay. So yay for that. So we literally walked in and he showed us what pitch. We showed him what picture that we're going to be writing our essay about. Um, then we asked questions. Um, he, he wanted us to ask questions before we left. So, you know, it could be, you know, you know, relevant questions or just stupid questions. I think someone asked the teacher why he had his left ear pierced. Like, that was actually one of the questions. Like, oh, okay, whatever. But, uh, and then he let us go. So I got out of class early. So I literally, after not showing up to class for two weeks, I get out of class early. So that's awesome. So upcoming for that class, um, upcoming this Wednesday in class blue book essay you know just take our picture write the essay in class bam that's easy um, uh, my essay is, is gonna be on the pre wise woman priestess because I've written two essays about that bitch so I literally know everything to know about that bitch you know despite getting a B minus it I got a B minus because the structuring of the essay wasn't good he said it was sloppy but I don't give a shit so I don't give a shit about that either and then uh, Monday uh, Monday is uh, pretty much we go in and we uh, bring an object that has you know significance to the lessons that are being taught in the class get up there you write a pair type a paragraph about it then you get up there present it and turn it in that's it that's the final so yep that class is almost over so yeah almost done almost done you know less than a week left to go so yay less than a week left all right so um now since that's out of the way i can finally begin on the anaheim experience so uh, I don't know where to begin, and I've been trying to push this off because I just don't know where to begin, but I got a cool minute to talk. I said, alright, once this video will be around 20 minutes long, so I got a cool minute to talk. So, uh, you know, I don't mean to offend anybody who is on this trip with me. Um, thank you for inviting me. Um, but it was not the best of trips, you know. I, I was I was pretty miserable for a good grip of it, so, yeah. But, alright, let's get into it. So, uh, we left early. We left early. Um, it was Thursday, Thursday afternoon, and uh, I was I totally forgot that I told. Uh, I'm just I don't want to give away anybody's names. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, so I'll, I'll just call them by letter. So I told my friend who was going on the trip, uh, my friend R, that uh, I was going to meet him at the school, and you know, and he's going to pick me up from the school. I totally forgot. So literally, I spent freaking two hours talking to this girl uh, from my calculus class. Uh, I guess I'll talk about her later, but, uh, uh, literally spent two hours just talking to this girl, totally forgot about her, so, uh, you know, I had to go, because my mom had to go to the bank, and the bank closed at four, so I was like, alright, gotta go, so, uh, when I was leaving, I passed by Yu-Gi-Oh! table, and he was there, and he was like, hey, hey, Daniel, you ready to go, you know, we were supposed to leave from here, you know, like, fuck, I forgot, so... <laughs> I was like, oh my god, dude, I totally forgot. I'm not, my bag's not even packed. I'm not even ready. He's like, oh, okay. Well, he's like, go home. I'll still be here. So I went, I drove home. Of course, I had to drive him home anyway because I had to go to the bank. So I drove home and got home. And I was like, I was like, hey, mom, my clothes, they're washed, right? And she was like, no, they're not washed, Kinder. Like, no, I thought you were leaving on Friday. Like, no, Thursday. Miscommunication, hello? So, literally, I had to, like, freaking mismatch a couple outfits. They, they kind of matched, but, you know, they weren't match outfits I would generally go with, especially uh, since they were just, like, not as matching. But, uh, you know, all I wear is black, white, and gray, so everything matches, but, you know, yeah. So, I... Took uh, some outfits, threw them into a suitcase, and uh, got ready to go. Uh, I actually took my laptop because you know, I was hoping that the, the hotel would have Wi-Fi. So took my laptop and I took my uh, 3DS uh, to play Smash. I don't even think I played it once. I know I didn't. I didn't even play the game once on my entire trip. I've not been playing Smash at all on the 3DS. So yeah, and I didn't I didn't get Pokemon Alpha Sapphire or or, or Ruby Omega Ruby. I'm not into it. So, uh, I left out, but, uh, when we left out, uh, you know, I left my mom, she, of course, I got to drive back to the college, but then she had to bring the car back, so we drove, we drove past the banks, went to bank, bank, then, uh, she dropped me off, and, uh, there, I was there, I was at the college, so, uh, 
other people, of course, went. Uh, there was a good group of people, I think. I mean, I think there was like 10 or 11 people going. So, uh, not only was there R, but there was also B, and then there was uh, S. <laughs> no, not B, S, B, and S, and then there was C. There was, there was Big C. And then uh, later we had to pick up Black C. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's just a lot of people. So we all hopped into uh, R's car and uh, drove to R's house. Oh, we got to R's house and uh, we chilled for a while. We playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, going over our trades and, you know, getting our binders ready, etc., etc. So uh, we actually went to eat we went to some Mexican Latino restaurant where they sell tacos and burritos. And it wasn't like a Roberto's or anything, but we went there. And, you know, my American ass... <laughs> Or remember, we had a you know Mexican restaurant, tacos, burritos, and all that good shit. And I'm like, I want a burger and fries. <laughs> I got a burger and fries. It was like the world's greasiest burger ever. Like, yeah, they just like, oh my god, like they fucking. I was like, can I get some freaking burger with my grease? Like, hello. But uh, yeah, it it was it, it was something. So literally, we just chilled. We had to wait for um uh, well, I already used S so. I guess I would call him Sky. I guess and we had to wait for Sky to get off of work, and he didn't get off of work till one. So we were waiting for a cool minute, like hours, hours. So um, Jay was one of the one of the one of the drivers along with Sky, two car. So um, uh, Jay, we were like, hey Jay, get some rest, go to sleep, you know, because you're gonna have to drive. So. Uh, Dre laid down, slept for like maybe like an hour or two. He got well rested, uh, and uh, then Sky showed up, and uh, we, you know we all put our cars into the bag and uh, you know started getting ready to go. So literally, like the difference in the cars was immense. Like Sky, we took Sky's car, one of the cars, and Sky's car is like an old, old jalopy, like I think like '80s car, you know, falling apart, old old piece of car you know he's like well jay's car he uh recently got in a car accident i'm not sure i don't think it was his fault but he had to run a car at the current time and it was a new 2014 uh fancy car so mm. so uh i really didn't care what car i was in but i wanted to send the car with the same car as r as you know r was actually one of the one of my closer friends on the team and, you know when it came to everybody else i didn't know everybody else that much so uh, I was like, alright, we're well, in the car that R is in, um, that's the car I'm in, so R was in the car with Jay, so, you know, um, Jay was driving, R was in the, the passenger seat, I was in the back seat, and, um, B was, you know, in the seat, uh, next to me, in the other back seat, you know, there was no one in the middle at the current time, while the other car, there was, um, Sky, S, uh, uh, Big C, and Black C, so, I guess there's only four people. No, there's only eight people. I guess so then we pick up the ninth person and then the tenth person. Yeah, there's ten people in the room. All right, all right, all right. I got that right. Unless I'm, am I missing anybody? I don't believe I'm missing anybody. If I am, I'm being super rude and I'm missing somebody. But I don't believe I'm missing anybody. All right, so uh, we start our drive off to California, so, uh, off to Anaheim for Vegas Anaheim. The drive shouldn't be that long. Should only be like you know maybe like four hours, but. This drive was a cool minute. <laughs> I mean, a cool minute. Like, you know, for a drive that was only supposed to take, like, maybe, like, four or five hours, it took, like, seven, seven, eight hours. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and Jay, when he was, he, he's a maniac when he drives. He loves to speed down the street. You know, especially in his 2014, he's just like, oh, I can push it. But then, of course, then Sky couldn't keep up with his car, so then we had to pull over and win, and then have and catch up and, Go ahead and go. So, uh, one of the things that I wasn't a big fan of, but they decided to go ahead and do is that we were actually going to pick someone up on the way to Anaheim. And I think it, I think it was, I don't, it was either Barstow or no, it wasn't Barstow. I think it was Bakersville. So we drove to Baker. Uh, I think we stopped at Barstow, and then I got a, a, a refrigerator magnet from my mom because. Wherever you, whenever anybody goes on a trip, you gotta get my mom a refrigerator magnet. That's the deal, you know. So, I uh, picked her up a refrigerator magnet. She loves refrigerator magnets. Fucking sometimes I can't even open a damn fridge without some of them falling off. So many damn refrigerator magnets, but eh, that's her thing. 
So, uh, we go ahead and stop at a at Baker's Row, and uh, there's a Denny's. So literally, uh, there's a Denny's, and we go inside the Denny's, and uh, you know I wasn't hungry at the time. I was not even hungry. So you know they were ordering some. There were some cute girls, and freaking, we walk in. They were they were checking us out, but then freaking Big Chris had to open his goddamn mouth and he ruined it for us, and just like, oh my god, we should hit you. Anyway, uh, the Noble Knight box set was, of course, supposed to come out, but it wasn't out in Vegas yet. So, Sky, he wanted to play Noble Knights, but, you know, he didn't have the, the, the cards yet, so that was kind of sucky for him. So, we literally, in uh, Bakersville, in California, there was a Walmart, so we went inside the Walmart, and they had the Noble Knight boxes, so he literally just bought three of them, and he, he just, you know, had his Noble Knight deck for the YCS, so he got super, he super lucked out on that one. So... Uh, yeah, he got his Noble Knight cards, and we just, uh, then, while we were waiting at the Denny's, uh, uh, did I already use the letter K? I don't think so, so, K, who was the guy who we were picking up, he, uh, got in the car, so we had to shift around the cars, because K is a big, heavy set seller, along with Big C, because that's what I'm calling Big C, because it's a big, heavy set seller, so, we decided to go ahead and take Black C, and put it in, in between, uh, me and B, so, it was us three, and it was still pretty cramped, while, uh, you know, uh, K and Big C were in the, uh, in Sky's car. So, uh, along with S, so Sky, S, Big C, and K in one car, and then J, R, B, me, and Black C were in the other car. So, you know, despite that, you know... Us, us three were fairly, uh, we're not really big men, but, you know, it was pretty cramped, you know. Uh, that car, that 15 car, it's really pretty compact, so we kind of just like, really close, you know. So, uh, we continue driving on, I fall asleep, like, I literally just knock out, like, I, I was just sleeping. Uh, majority of the ride, I was just sleeping, so, I didn't see much, you know, they're apparently like, oh, there's stars, like, I, I don't see stars that often. <laughs> You know, in Vegas with all the artificial light, you can't even see the stars, so, yeah, but, uh, anyway, we kept driving, eventually we made it, and, uh, we went to, I think, a Carl's Jr., I think, yeah, so, woke up, we were in Carl's, Ju we were at a Carl's Jr. in, uh, in California, and I was just like, oh, okay, in Anaheim, you know, and, and the Anaheim, where we were at, was, like, right near Disneyland, like, right, like, maybe, like, down the street from freaking Disneyland, so, uh, the thing that sucked, cause all right, so this is uh this is Friday, this is early Friday morning. Uh, we call up the hotel room. I think we were at it was like nine o'clock. Call up the hotel room, and they're like, "Oh, we want to have your hotel room ready till one." Like, okay, and then of course early signups weren't till three, so literally uh we just go to the hotel, we just park the cars, we take our Yu Gi Oh cards, and we just head down to the convention center where the West Coast is uh being held. So, literally, we were, like, super duper duper super early. So, we sit there, we, you know, we duel a couple people, talk to a couple people, make trades and stuff. Uh, but, literally, we were just waiting for a minute. So, literally, uh, started getting kind of tired and bored. Phones were dying, dying, you know, we didn't have any chargers or sockets or they were being used at the time, etc., etc. So, I actually, I actually, I found a socket that, and charged up my phone, so I was watching YouTube videos while waiting. We waited for a cool minute. Like, we waited the entire time from 9 to 3 just to get that early sign up, which it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. So, um, you know, then I started getting sleepy and kind of bored. So, uh, me and uh, B kind of went, went sleeping in shifts. So, you know, I would fall asleep for a while, and then he would fall asleep a while while we'd watch all our stuff. I don't like falling asleep in public. It's very uncomfortable. I, I, I don't know. I feel very paranoid that something's going to happen. So, I, don't, I just don't like the idea of falling asleep in public. Even with someone watching my stuff, I'm just like, I don't know. Now I could get kicked in the damn face or something. Like, no, thank you. So, uh, that was that was it. We sat there, we waited, we waited, we waited, we waited. Uh, finally, well, we got early sign up, so, you know, we paid our 20 bucks, got the token, got our packs. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing an opening of the packs as a live video, but I gotta get it off my phone, in which I... I think I lost the cord that the original cord for the the S4 
So uh, if I try to plug a generic cord, my computer doesn't recognize it, so I need the actual cord. So I actually ordered one from uh, from eBay, so it should be coming in a couple days. So you'll see that live video for now. I uh, still have some live videos to supply you guys, but you know, any of them from you know uh, Anaheim, uh, I don't have. Also, when he when freaking Sky opened up the three box sets. I was like, oh, let me get a video recording of at least one. He opened up all three when I wasn't even there, so, yeah. So, thanks for that. Well, one, my phone was dead. And then the other two, and I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. We'll just open another one later. Then the other two, he just straight up opened. Because, so, literally, like, half of our group left to go to the hotel room, while the other half were stuck there still waiting. You know, while they, you know, went to the hotel room, slept, you know, played, you know, uh, you know, got some test plays, and we're in a nice country hotel. We're just sitting out here, fucking starving, dying of you know starvation and sleep deprived, waiting for the early signups. But it, it was worth it. It was worth it. So yeah, that's how it is. So uh, like I said this is a uh, Friday. So uh, after the uh, you know get the uh, signups, start walking back to the uh, hotel room. It wasn't a far walk, but it is. It's enough of a walk for you to you know know that's a walk up. Let's say it's like a like maybe like a block or two. No, it's a walk. So walk back to the hotel room and uh, and when I mean hotel room, I mean hotel room, not room, not plural room. So literally, it's a hotel room. It has two beds, uh, you know, a bathroom, TV. You know, just a hotel room, right? There's ten people in this room. So there's me, B, uh. Black C, Big C, K, Sky, R, J, uh, uh, I'm missing someone, I'm missing someone, S, S, uh, also, also, we had another person come, um, uh, I guess I'll call him, uh, Cow, I guess. Cow. So, he uh he drove in his own car, but he was still in the hotel room. So, all of these niggas, all of these men in one fucking hotel room. Oh my god, the place was like fucking terrible. Like, literally, and then fucking like fucking Big Chris like took his shoes off and was like, oh my god, like my nose, like it, it was hot, it was smelly, like it was just not enjoyable. <laughs> not totally not. So. Uh, you know, they were always talk they're talking about who's getting to bed. And literally, you know, just kind of walked in and took your spot. So, literally, I took my spot in the corner in the floor. I was like, this is my spot. I'm going to stay here. This is mine. You know, well, uh, you know, some people got the beds, which is fine. I mean, the thing I didn't like is that whenever they fell asleep on the bed, they would all fall asleep on the cupboards. And it's just like, hey, I know. But then they would freaking turn the air on because it was so hot for everyone on body heat. So, you know. You know, and I, not everybody made that damn blubber, so literally while I was sleeping, of course, I didn't have a blanket, so I slept in my jacket. So, yeah, sleeping in my jacket, you know. <laughs> I didn't, I don't think, I didn't bring a pair of pajamas, so I just slept in my clothes, but slept in, slept in, uh, slept in my jacket, just to stay warm, so I didn't freeze my damn nips off, because it was, and it was getting cold, you know. It was either, you, it was freakishly hot or freakishly cold, there was really no in-between, so, yeah. Also, my sleeping schedule just went... You know, at completely out of whack. Completely out of whack. So, uh, one thing, of course, uh, yeah, we had to get food. Uh, food was a lot pricier over there than in Vegas. Much, much, much pricier. I mean, like I said, we were, like, right down the street from Disneyland, so, you know, they, they were, of course, going to hike up prices, because why not? So, like, literally, I was going with the intent of, you know, purchasing things that I purchased in Vegas, and being prepared to pay the exact same price, so... You know, we went to Taco Bell, you know, what I usually order cost me $10, so I ordered that, and I was like, alright, $10, and they were like, $20, I'm like, what the fuck, like, alright, here, you know, I was like, what the fuck, how is it so expensive, you know, because not only is it, you know, near Disneyland, so they're like, hey, we can hike up the prices, but also they don't, you know, the sales tax, you know, you know, uh, you know, being in Vegas, because of the gambling, we don't have taxes like that, so that's the reason why it's a little bit cheaper, you know, we went to Subway, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to order two subs. They're going to be on $5 subs. You know, I'm just going to hell. And then I was like, all right, it's going to be $10. It's like, $15. Like, what the fuck? Like, whatever happened to $5, you know, foot long? Whatever happened to fucking that, you know? Uh, one of the things that really sucked ass is that there was no fucking panda to be found. Oh, my God. Like, we were craving panda. Me and B were, like, craving the panda. We're like, where the fuck is a panda? Panda! 
There was no panda to be found. And it made me sad. It made me a tear roll down my cheek. I was like, I want panda. You know? Um, a place that was decently priced was uh, Denny's. So there's actually a Denny's. So uh, I don't eat at Denny's. I'm not a big fan of Denny's. Um, Denny's isn't my thing. I'm much rather, like, I'm going to go and, eat, and go out and eat breakfast. I'd rather go to IHOP. I like what IHOP better than Denny's. But, you know, there's Denny's. But, uh, you know, there are uh, there are two, four, six, eight thing is actually a pretty nice deal. So, um, ordered the, the, the $4 meal. You get uh, two pancakes, uh, two eggs, and two pieces of bacon for $4. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. That's breakfast. Cool. Awesome. You know, and then you can get all you can eat pancakes also for $4. And I'm just like, wow, yeah, that's, a, that's an awesome deal if that's all you want to eat. But, you know, I didn't want to waste my money on all you pancakes, eat two, and then be like, oh, well, there you go, I'm full. So I wanted to at least, you know do that because I'm not I'm not a huge eater so uh you know we ate breakfast and then this is a uh, you know Saturday morning we go ahead and head over to uh you know the convention center for Wexia and that place was filled to the fucking brim oh my god filled to the brim so literally we walk in and we're just like wow so many people so we had to go to these people who were handing out these kind of like uh wristband things so you take one wristband you put it around your wrist take one wristband you put it around your bag you can only have one bag so, uh, yeah, and, uh, put it on your wrist, put it on your bag, and then, you know, whenever you would leave, they would always check your bag and check your wrist, and be like, all right, you're, this is your stuff, so, um, yeah, so, literally just got, because of the early, uh, registration, we got to just get our wristbands and walk right in, well, you know, if you didn't get early registration, you were gonna wait, like, a cool minute, you know, I think the tournament was supposed to start at, like, I think, like, 9.30, it didn't start till like, maybe, like, 11, because there's so many people to register and stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera, so, uh, this is the part where I talk about the experience of YCS. Um, before I go into that, there's actually a teammate-ish. I'm not sure if they're on the team, but I think they are. And she was wearing, like, this dress, and her tits were just out there. Like, you know, like, you you could miss it, you know? Like, her tits were just, bam, in your fucking face, you know? And it's, it's like, is that considered cheating? Like, if I, if I dueled her, I would totally call a judge over and be like, she needs to cut out the titties because I'm distracted. And I'm about to lose this damn duel. Like, hello? But, um, uh, yeah, she was just, you know, even she needs a new, you know? So, uh, yeah, uh, tournament. Uh, I, at the YCS, I saw and met a couple of, uh, people. Uh, I saw, uh, Galactic God. I saw Hoban. Patrick Hoban. Uh, I met Starstrike. And I met Peabody. And the most disrespectful person was Peabody. Alright? Because when I went up to Peabody, I'm like, hey, Peabody, what's up, you know? And he was like, oh, yeah, you're a Cali effect. Like, did you just call me the fucking Cali effect? Like, me and Marcus look nothing alike. Nothing alike. You know? That's like literally if I would have went up to Peabody and was like, hey, you're Asianized, right? Like, like no, dude. Like, no, 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 no. Like, that, that, I was really offended on that. That kind of pissed me off. I'm not sure if Simo win. I didn't see him, but yeah, that's what I yeah, that's what I ran into. So uh, there you go. I, like I said, if you want to know the YCS experience, you know the actual tournament, how the tournament went, uh, then watch the video, uh, the deck profile. I'll put a link in the description. It was some deck profile second half of it. But uh, yeah. So uh, of course, you know, I drop. I I'm just like fuck this. I want to go back. But look, it's terrible. I don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh right now. So uh, I wanted to go back to the hotel room. But no one else was dropping at the same time I was dropping, you know. They all won their rounds and were going on to the next round. So, I was like, you know what, fuck it. So, I just, you know, walked home. Walk, no, walked home. Walk, walked home all the way back to Vegas. By myself. And I walked back to the hotel room uh, by myself. I ran into uh, B and Black C and they, they were coming back to the convention center. So, they just handed me the hotel key. You know, I just you know, took the hotel key room and went to the hotel room. I think that was the only time I was ever in the hotel room by myself, which is, you know, awesome. So, I got to just sit down, watch some YouTube videos. I watch some, you know, Lord, Northern Lion play, some Binding of Isaac. Watch some uh, Far Cry Four, and uh, yeah, it was just chill, <laughs> you know, chill for a cool minute by myself. So slowly, uh, people started coming back into the uh, hotel room from the convention, and uh, you know, I was hearing about how they dropped or you know, they didn't do well. I think the best person who did be the best was Cal. He was using a clay play, and he was close to topping, but he didn't top. At least top. He didn't. He. You know, I mean, top. I mean, you know. Do well enough to go to day two. He he was close, but he didn't make it to day two. So no one made it to day two, and uh, <laughs> we were we really, I wasn't really in the mood to even go to, to back to the convention center. I was like, no, thank you, I'm good. You know, 
you know, especially since the vendors were being such cheap asses and no one was wanting anything. Like, literally, like, they were trying, they were, like, selling Virgil for, like, 60, but they'll buy your Virgil off of you for, like, you know, 20, 25, and it's just like, nah, nah, nah. Like, you weren't gonna make shit. Like, they weren't purchasing anything. They were just selling shit, and, you know, there was no deals to be made. So, you know, it was really difficult to make your money at that YCS, definitely. So, uh, for day three, for the final day, Sunday, um, we do not go back to, uh, the convention center. But, uh, actually, um, we pretty much had to get out of the hotel room, I think, by, uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, AM, we gotta get out, you know, before they charge us with another room, another day. So, uh, you know, begin the day, everybody goes and gets ready, takes their shower, get ready to go. So, uh, uh, we, uh, you know, get our stuff packed up, clean the hotel room, remote, remotely decently, you know, for, you know, 10, 11 people all up in that room, you know, we cleaned it fairly decently, uh, you know, took our bags, put it in the car, and, uh, before we left, we went to Denny's again, because, you know, that cheap breakfast, though, you know, uh, you know, we wanted to go to one Denny's, but they were crowded, but that's one thing, besides, despite not having any pandas, they had a lot of Denny's, so we went to, like, three different Denny's, and uh, we eventually stopped at this one Denny's, which, of course, is going to be super crowded, because it's a Sunday, so everybody comes home for church, and what, or goes, you know, gets off of church, and wants to go to Denny's and eat some breakfast, so, uh, you know, there was, it was pretty crowded. But uh, eventually we ate breakfast and uh, we headed out from there and we decided to uh, leave and uh, head to the beach. So uh, we actually uh, drove uh, for a little while and went to the beach. Uh, this was actually my first time ever going to a beach. You know, I've pretty much been in Vegas my entire life. You know, when left a couple of times, you know, I didn't go. I'd never been to Disneyland until, you know, my senior trip. And, you know, whenever I went to California, it was never to the beach. So, you know, this is my first time ever going to the beach. So we went to the beach, and the thing is, I can't, I couldn't even get the full experience of the beach because I don't have any shorts. I don't even own a pair of shorts, you know. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I can, you know, get my feet wet. So literally, uh, we try, we find a parking station which is terrible, terrible. Like literally, it was like you could pay fifteen dollars to park in this parking get pristine parking area, or you can find a place. So we literally just drove around looking for a place. I think some people were leaving, so we literally just like, hey, you're leaving? Like, yeah. So they left, and we took their parking space. So. No, uh, no, we walked down to the beach, we walked down to the sand, and oh my god, I can't walk on sand, like, as soon as I fucking stepped on the sand and I started sinking, I, I couldn't get my equilibrium, I was, I, I, like, every step I was taking, I was about to fall forward on my face, you know, like, my dick weighs a ton, and I, I was just gonna fall forward, I just couldn't walk in sand naturally, and it was just weighing me down, so, we get out there, and literally, the time that we, uh, Oh, wait, 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 I gotta go back, go back. So, yes, I did my, use my laptop, of course, I went to it. They, they had Wi-Fi. They had the best Wi-Fi password at the hotel ever. You wanna know what the password was? The password was 1234567 Creativity Award goes to you. Like, so stupid. And they were for free Wi-Fi at uh, Anaheim, at the actual convention center. Uh, anyway, back to the beach. Um, so, literally, the time that we get to the beach and everybody's having fun the beach, it's the same time that Dragon Ball Z League is streaming on Twitch. And you guys know how I am about my goddamn Dragon Ball Z League. So, uh, I was trying my best to fucking just watch it while on the beach. So, literally, I, 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 I look stupid. Like, literally, I'm, I'm on a guy on the beach, you know, in jeans, with a tie, listening to, and uh, looking at something on his cell phone. Like, that, that's how I like. So, literally, I think I'm... I walked around, I picked up, picked up a couple shells, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll hold on to these for souvenirs, I guess. Um, and I walk out to the water, you know, put my feet in the water, it's fucking cold. It was cold anyway, because, like I said, this was still, you know, fall. So it's still fucking cold. And, uh, yeah, it was the beach. And literally, I literally walked back to the car. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this experience, you know. I don't like this. I don't like the beach. So, literally, um, they enjoyed the beach for, like, the next like, two hours. While I'm sitting in the car trying to freaking stream League, but then, like, literally, I'm trying to watch League, I run out of data, and, yeah, my phone literally turns to, like, a fucking sack of shit. Like, won't load videos, it won't do anything, League's not streaming on my phone, so I'm just like, fuck. So, uh, I know, I'm just sitting there waiting for them, eventually they come back, you know, and they come back early, you know. I thought they, they enjoyed the beach for, like, two hours, but, you know, we were planning on leaving California at 7, 
but you know, I was I was like, no, I'm bored. You know, I'm bored. Let's leave. You know, we enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get it early. The quicker we leave early, the quicker we can get back. And they're like, oh yeah, we can watch The Walking Dead if we get back early. So we actually leave at four. But uh, the thing is that you know, we're just, once again we're in these two separate cars. We're still in the same seating arrangement. So uh, we uh, we get in the car. And, oh no no we switched seating arrangements so we trade uh, uh, Black C who sit in the middle for S so we, they switch so S is now in the middle so uh, Sky for some odd reason decides to go drive to a Carl Jr. well you know Disney Channel J and then all of a sudden he, he needs his car jump so we we were you know get, about to get on the freeway and start you know heading back to Vegas but you know, all of a sudden he's like, hey, no, don't go, we need to jump, we are stuck, so we had to spend time driving back to jumping camp, it took a while, then we're getting on the freeway, and then he, we dust him, and then we have to drive off the freeway and wait, for, and wait, and wait, and wait, so despite leaving early, we still ended up leaving and, and driving about seven, so still fucking late, you know, uh, but that's not, the, the, the worst part is yet to come, so one of the things that we were super excited for is that there was a panda in Baker's. So we wanted to go to Panda. You know, we've been craving Panda the entire fucking weekend. We are like, fucking Panda, fuck yeah. So, uh, you know, we were just driving, driving, looking forward to that Panda. So we get to uh, Baker's. Uh, we uh, drop off K. You know. uh, I don't even think we even said goodbye. Like, literally, he, he was just gone, you know, so. Oh, well. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we head to Panda. So there was two Pandas. Two Pandas. So, the first panda uh, we went to, but Jay was like, no, no, we're not going to that panda. So, we drove past that panda, went to the other panda, and when we get there, uh, literally, the place is, like, shutting down. Like, literally, they're like, oh, you know, get your last meal, we're closing down the place. And it's like, oh, what the fuck, you know? So, they didn't have anything. They had no one's chicken, they had no rice, they didn't have shit. So, we're like, oh, fuck, fine, right, we'll just go to the other panda. So, uh, so, we hop in the car. And we drive back, so we're driving away from Vegas at this point to try to go and get some goddamn panda because the craving was fucking real. So we get to the other place, we walk in, and hold and behold, they're like, nope, packing up the food, nope, we're done. Like, oh my god. So because of fucking Sky just being so bad with his damn car, we were late, we never got any fucking panda, and it was just so depressing. Like, saddest moment of the entire trip, like, wanted panda <laughs> so literally uh we didn't get panda we didn't get panda uh i think they had a little bit of food left so i think jay got like a little small bowl of panda and then uh our ordered other things that weren't you know what i wanted so and while uh me b and s uh we went to guess where we went to that you can't guess take a guess guess where we went yeah we went to denny's <laughs> We went to Denny's and uh, we got some food there, so I just got a burger and fries at Denny's. Now, what's up with me getting burger at fr burger and fries at places where you not generally fucking get burger and fries? I don't know. What's up with me and burger and fries? I want burger and fries. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, we eat and we uh, just start driving back to Vegas. Uh, we get back to Vegas fairly late. I think we get back at like, I want to say like three in the morning. So, you know. I'm like the first one to get dropped off, so they drop me off, and I go, and I sleep, and I sleep all the way, sleep, 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 and I sleep right through Monday, through my Monday classes, so, yep, ah, so there you go, there's the Anaheim experience, I finally got done with this video, finally, like I said, I didn't want it to be forever, and it's forever, it's almost 40 minutes, so, if you guys actually sat through it and watched it, then I appreciate it, but I'm just glad that I finally got it done. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, so, that. so, like I said, tomorrow we're getting right back into the commentating, the natural action commentary. I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys about my Tuesday. Um, and, uh, you know, just uh, get right, hop back into it using um, um, them uh, Hermit Yokai's. Yeah. Alright. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with that. Alright. Thanks for watching.